Hey there, Andrew here welcoming you to another episode of Research and Reviews. In this episode, we're going to be taking an initial look at the AEA Challenger Pro and I'm going to be giving you my first impressions in pro and con format. So check it out. I recently acquired an AEA Challenger Pro and I'm going to share with you the pros and cons on my first impressions of this amazing new rifle. So we're going to start with the cons and con number one was no manual. Now this wasn't a real major issue for me because I'm somewhat familiar with our rifles now, but for a newcomer that could be off-putting. I did hear though from Terry Fox, my vendor, that uh, there are manuals that are on the way and so I'm hoping to receive one soon. Con number two is that it's a bit of a heavy rifle. Now, admittedly, I have added some weight to it. I've added a scope, I've added a bipod, but weight overall does factor into my overall enjoyability. Con number three, I'm gonna to have to show you. All right. Now, you can see, of course, the barrel attaches here, and as it extends forward, there is no additional support. Now, you probably can't see from your vantage point, but from mine, I can, with just a mild amount of pressure, flex that barrel back and forth. Now, I'd have to think that that could potentially affect accuracy if you were to add weight to the end of the barrel. And the weight I'm speaking of, of course, is a Donny FL suppressor. But also, if you were to uh, uh, bang that barrel against something or if it was to be impacted in some fashion is what I'm saying. Uh, I, I would have to think that there would be the possibility of uh, accuracy issues that could give rise from that. What I would like to see is some sort of a support that uh, was situated right about here. And I'm probably going to build something along those lines just so that I can keep that barrel from flexing back and forth. Con number four is the monopod that's built into the folding stock. It's a really cool idea because when that's extended out, it can add some stability when you're doing precision shooting or sighting in or that sort of thing. The problem is the monopod is too short and uh, even when it's fully extended, when you set up the rifle, your barrel's going to be tilted up and you're going to be lobbing rounds down range. Of course, my fix was to put a support underneath the folding stock and that level things out, but it would have been nice if there was a way to make that uh, monopod longer so that it wouldn't have to jury rig a support underneath it to get it to, to uh, flatten out for me. So that's it for cons. Now let's take a look at the pros. Pro number one is the machined folding aluminum stock. The stock is both beautiful and functional. Uh, everything on it works the way it's supposed to. It extends and retracts perfectly. Uh, as I mentioned, it has the built-in monopod. The locking mechanism locks up and disengages the, exactly the way it's supposed to. And that's unlike my HPSS. I had some lockup issues where the uh, um, latch wasn't working exactly right. Um, no problems of that kind at all with the uh, Challenger Pro. Pro number two, the monopod, which I've already mentioned. It is a little short, but with the proper support underneath, it does add a nice bit of stability when you're doing sight-in work or precision shooting. Pro number three, Picatinny rails. You have ample rails along the top, plus there's also a, a shorter rail along the bottom. Now, the uh, one along the bottom is in my view, a little bit too short. I had to do a little uh, maneuvering. Actually, I'll show you here. I had to do a little bit of maneuvering to uh, uh, get my bipod properly positioned because when it was uh, uh, in its original location, it was interfering with the uh, 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 location for the uh, fill probe here. And so had to do a little, a little uh, jury rigging there. If this was a little bit longer, I could have moved the bipod beyond the, uh, the uh, fill probe uh, port, but uh, I was able to work around that. But uh, it's adequate, but uh, um, I would have liked that, that uh, bottom one a little longer. The top rail, a lot of real estate there. Yeah, no, no issues as far as not having enough room to put whatever you want to put on that rail. Pro number four, placement of the safety. When I index, my finger is right on top of that safety. It's easy to just flip that up into fire position. If it's in fire position, I feel it immediately. It's also ambidextrous. So left-handed or right-handed shooters are not going to have any problem operating that safety. Pro number five has to do with the gauges. And 
the placement of the gauges. As you can see, they're both easily accessible and you don't have to look down the barrel to actually read your gauges. That was an issue that I had with my HPSS. It just, just really bothered me that I either had to use a mirror or stare down a barrel to look and see what my, uh, my pressure was. Pro number six, Challenger Pro is regulated and that gives me very nice consistency between shots. Pro number seven, a very smooth bolt action. I mean, it is just beautiful, it's elegant, it has a large bolt handle on it. I really love it. And uh, I was looking at a, uh, another reviewer and he had mentioned that this is uh, reversible. So if you wanted to put it on the other side, evidently that is a possibility. Uh, I'll know more when my manual arrives, how about that? Pro number eight is an upgraded power wheel lock nut. On uh, the previous versions of um, AEA rifles, this was a slotted uh, lock nut and uh, they're using an Allen keyed lock nut now. And it's just a little nicer and uh, a little less opportunity to, to scar it up when you're making adjustments. Pro number nine is the trigger pull. Now this trigger pull is amazing. I don't have a trigger gauge, but I would guesstimate that this is somewhere between three, three and a half pounds. It is just absolutely a joy to shoot. Pro number 10 is fit, finish, and just the sheer beauty of this rifle. It is amazing. I, I mean, there's, there's no other way to describe this except extremely elegant and well-built. So that's my impressions of the AEA Challenger Pro. I want to thank Terry Fox for taking my pre-order and for shipping very, very fast once those uh, rifles came in. And I also want to thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time.